is Shauna and welcome to 30 Things to Store, where every day this month we are talking about tips for how to store things that most people commonly own and use. So today we are talking about shoes. We all wear shoes, so we all have to figure out what's the best way to keep them. And I'm going to give you some tips, but I also want to say that things like tops and pants and shoes, I can spend hours working with clients on these. So, you know, these are just a few tips, but if you really need some help and you want a customized solution, you can always contact me back from the website and uh, I'll see if I can do something a little more customized for you. Um, all right, so we're going to talk about shoes. And the first thing I want to say is that when I work with clients, I notice that shoes tend to pile up near the door where people come in. So I often say, look, keep the one or two pair of shoes that you wear the most downstairs near the door. Maybe for your child, that's the sneakers they wear and one other kind of pair of shoes. Also, you can keep the messy shoes like the cleats, either in the entryway or even if you have a garage outside in the garage because those are dirty and we don't want to track those up the stairs and down you know on our carpets and things like that also boots snow boots rain boots should be kept downstairs and near your door so those are down the rest of the shoes the ones you wear once a week or maybe just once or twice or even just you wear maybe once a month those should be upstairs in a closet okay so only the ones we're kind of wearing every day we're going to keep downstairs and the messy ones now let's imagine we've walked up to the closet and we're trying to talk about how to store shoes. It's important to remember that there are multiple ways to store shoes. In a standard closet, there is no built-in shoe storage. Most people just put their shoes along the bottom of the closet and this is great. If you want to enhance the amount of storage that you have in a standard closet that does not have an organizer, you can buy freestanding racks. Some of them are shelves like this, and then there's also the kind that are wire, and they have wire brackets, and you would hang your shoes on them like this. Another way to add storage for shoes to a standard closet that does not have shoe storage is an over-the-door uh, organizer that has pockets, and that can be a way to organize your shoes. If you even want more ideas, you can always visit my Pinterest page. I have a whole board just about clothing organizing, and I have some extra tips for shoes there. So we want to put in some structure to make the most of whatever space we have. Once we have the structure, couple tips. Let's talk about men's shoes. Men's dress shoes are best kept with something like this on the inside. It just protects the leather and provides a nice scent uh, as much as possible, so I'm a fan of putting these into men's dress shoes when they're not being worn. Okay, so that's dress shoes. Other types of shoes. Sneakers, just set them on the shelf. Regular shoes, sit them on the shelf. Here's a couple of tips. Flip-flops. Flip-flops tend to be a little smaller in dimension. Again, good candidate for that over-the-door hanger. But if you have a shelf, Flip-flops can be stored on top of each other because they're so low in profile and the top is usually fabric that if you're stretched for space, you can store them this way. If they're dirty, you can store them right sides together. So that's one tip. Another tip, if you wear heels, or really any shoe, but especially a heel, the widest part of a high-heeled shoe or a pump or a sandal is here in the ball of the foot. So if I put both of these shoes on the shelf like this, I've got the widest next to the widest. If every inch matters, what you can do is turn them and put the heel up against the ball. It will take a, a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit less space to store your shoes this way, okay? Again, also remember that if you have shelving for shoes that was put in by a closet organizing company like a California Closets, you can just buy extra shelves because maybe you have a bunch of flip-flops that only need this much space, you don't need this much. So always remember, could I use an extra shelf? And then lastly, when you're storing boots, such as these, right, we want to put something in the shaft of the boot that keeps the boot from flopping over. And you can use a traditional sort of plastic insert like this. You can buy these freestanding. Or you can just take a pool noodle, if you happen to have one of those lying around, just saw that with a little serrated knife and stick those in. 
And if you have maybe some boots that have a, a very high quality leather or an elastic in the back that you don't want to stretch, there's a product called the Voot Boot Shaper. And it, it's basically a flat piece of plastic. And they come in different thicknesses depending on your boot. And you just roll that up and put that in your boot. And the nice thing about those is if you have some extras, they store flat. So I'll put a link to a couple of products back on the website. But remember, dirty shoes and common shoes down, the rest of the shoes up, add structure, and then try to uh, make the most of every inch you've got. Hope to see you tomorrow on 30 Things to Store.